is your buddy, peace and harmony with you here today. Much love going out to all the beautiful empowered harmonizers. And we're zooming in and focusing in a little bit more in depth in terms of how to protect yourself from a covert psychopath. Perhaps one of the most manipulative and really lethal hazardous type of manipulators out there. And oftentimes you can get so in the trenches, so deeply manipulated and this can take place gradually over a period of time that you really can't restore your direction, restore your empowerment, restore your thinking process to the point where you can actually feel on your feet again and feel strong and secure. So we're really going to zoom in and focus in on really the cause. It's also created this effect. And the good news is absolutely positively, you can heal, you can get your life back, you can get your security, your safety back, you can get your happiness and fulfillment back, you can get it all back. So that is actually really good news. And before we get started, I just want to give a super huge shout out to those of you who have recently donated to, to the channel. Thank you so much. It's great to hear from you. Thank you so much for participating and your support of the channel. It really is viewers like you that make it worthwhile and keep me inspired. So thank you so much for stepping up to the plate. It's I appreciate your generosity and absolutely positively, if there are other viewers that this has been a positive resource, please do feel free to contribute and donate at the PayPal Donate Now button here at the Peace and Harmony channel. It would be great to hear from you. So thank you so much for your donations. So we're zooming in and focusing in a little bit more in depth on how to protect yourself from a covert psychopath. Someone who has disrupted your operating system. Yes, your operating system all the way down to the roots of how you think, how you feel, how you perceive your life, how you perceive your reality, how you navigate through your day, how you navigate through your decisions. How does this all get thrown off course? How do you essentially get into a situation where you are abandoning yourself, abandoning your senses, getting your own values rewired so that they are accommodating to a covert psychopath, someone who is an expert master manipulator. This person can be extremely attractive. They can be wealthy. They can hold positions of power in companies, organizations. They can be doctors. They can be lawyers. Um, oftentimes these people are in the higher uh, positions of society um, where they are, you know, they can be educated or they can be uneducated, but yet find themselves in positions of power. Do you see where this is beginning to make sense? Those people who have a covert psychopathic personality type, they, by virtue of this personality, it is an antisocial personality. Um, even though they can be completely social, completely high ranking, um, they can be antisocial in the fact that they are intraspecies predators. In other words, they prey upon the feelings, the vulnerabilities, the needs of others. And they really have a very covert way of doing this, meaning that they are very stealthy. They're under detection. They are under human detection. So they can appear on the outside as very normal, very adapted, very smooth, polished individuals. Yet these are pathological liars and they are pathological chameleons. Pathological chameleons, meaning that they can sort of really shape shift their personality, their energy, um, their values according to the roles, the situation, the circumstances that is required. So for example, depending on who they want to deceive, they can come up across according to a very personalized identity that is designed to pry into this person's persona. So for example, if they are trying to pry, you know, scope and target an individual who is lonely, who maybe is um, isolated, perhaps, you know, they um, are shy, um, you know, and they don't have a lot of friends or things of this nature, then they will become 
to fill to this void. So they will shape shift, even though they don't truly want a relationship with this person, they will become all of a sudden the knight or nitrous in shining armor that is able to specifically fit those needs and figure out exactly what pushes their buttons in order to get in their layer, to get in their field, to get in their energy field and disrupt their thinking. And they will do this in a highly master manipulative way. So for example, um, and, and how do you, so we're going to understand the cause that's created this relationship and then furthermore, how to protect yourself and how to extract yourself. So it is to understand that these individuals do not have a conscience. So to understand that means that they're, it is to understand that their limbic system, their, the way that their brain works, the way that their emotions or lack of emotions work, the way that their sentence structure works is, is different from the mass of society. So interspecies predator, which means that they're under detection, they come across as very polished, but there's a deliberate and calculating way with which they're going to break others down psychologically. They're going to break people down and get right in their talons in right at the root of your operating system, which means your own limbic brain, how you feel, what you attend to, how you perceive your reality the value that you attribute to things. It's a very scary and horrific um, experience to undergo this and then have your own operating system, your own limbic brain disrupted by this presence. <clears throat> so they will get in and tell you the sweet nothings. They will e exude a specific energy that gives you this feeling of belonging or this feeling of being wanted, desired, being, a, being attracted to, coming out of your isolation, coming out of your, perhaps you've never been recognized, so this person is recognizing you, or they're making you feel um, loved, they're making you feel like um, you're the man, you're the woman, you're the most handsome man, you're the most gorgeous woman. They're then basically playing on your emotions. This is the love bombing stage. When we talk about a covert psychopath, these people are just basically able to cause you to melt like butter on a hot knife. I mean, you just begin to fall over for them. You know, you know, I'm head over heels in love. I'm tripping over myself. I'm super excited. All of a sudden, you find this person opening up the door for you. Um, perhaps they're cleaning your house. They're doing your laundry. They're giving you these little gifts. Um, they're, you know, asking you for help the way that you want to be needed. All of a sudden, boom, you know, they are in your layer. They're in your energy field. All of a sudden you feel a, an oceanic oneness with them. This is the cessation of your boundaries. This is the cessation of your, basically you, you answer, you feel like you have, this is the answer to your prayers. And so you then begin to answer to them. You begin to then fall, you know, uh, render yourself basically helpless and you have this oceanic head over heels experience. So perhaps if you, you're a man and you've never encountered this sort of beautiful woman, you know, just a trophy prize of a female, you know, who is all of a sudden be, you know, you're smitten with this person's looks. They're very seductive, very, very seductive, very attractive. And they might tell you things which get you aroused, which, you know, basically play to your fantasies and your fantasies of being the man. They're very masculating for you. You feel highly um, needed. You feel that what you do really fits, you know, fits their needs and you can, you know, you're basically feel like you can swoop her off of your feet or she's already swept off of your feet. So here are the feelings that are played upon for a woman. You know, all of a sudden this woman, you know, this man feels to make you feel like the most beautiful woman. You can be there um, and they, they talk to you. Uh, they have conversations. They just seem to drop everything that they're doing and give you a look, the psychopathic gaze. And then, <clears throat> and then want to be close. So then all of a sudden they're then answering your prayers, taking you out to the meals, taking you out to the drinks, sending you the text, wanting you you know, to hold the door, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And so how do they get into your operating system? How do you protect yourself? 
It's to understand that your, your natural limbic brain, your own emotions, you know, you have a routine, you have sort of a habit, you have a way that you go about your life. So this is what is your operating system. So your natural values, the things that you attend to. Um, and then likewise, your own unmet needs. Those are your operating system. And so the, the covert psychopath is able to get in to, and seep into all those little crevices, into the cocoon of you, into all the, you know, all the, your feeling, especially your limbic brain, especially your arousal, you know, your attraction. Um, they get into really that, um, that system and really unwire it and get, make it really become rewired according to what they want you to attend to so that you're really missing out on what you need to do. So they hyper arouse the attraction so that you're attracted to a specific sort of focus in your environment and then get you to reassociate meaning to other things. In other words, it's, you know, attend to this, um, this picture, attend to this door, attend to this, this color. Um, they have a, a way of uh, reconfiguring and rewiring what you attend to so that it has a new meaning. And then you are basically abandoning your own sense of reality so that you're engaging in this hyper arousal with, which then becomes a unique mix or cocktail of psychological and neurochemicals, which then cause your brain to become hyper aroused and then elicit the dopamine along with the stimulants of the adrenals, which usually aren't combined. So you're getting this unique co combination of chemicals aroused in your limbic system, which I liken it to a test tube. In other words, they're, they're playing with your fear and playing on your arousal. So you're now becoming aroused by fear. And which is, you know, which is really a very, an, a, a very toxic, a very lethal, a very strong chemical combination. Um, because you're basically going after your own self-destruction. You're, you're now becoming aroused by fear, which is supposed to be your warning signal, your, your internal guiding system. In other words, stay away. This is a red flag. Stay away. This is a boundary violation. Stay away. This is um, violating of ethical code. Stay away. This is violating of my, um, my sexual boundaries. Stay away. We should not be doing this here. So your fear, this hyper arousal, the psychopath will engage in high risk behaviors to them. That is what, you know, what is causing them, you know, that power shape shift. So because they don't have a conscience, they don't feel any sort of fear. They don't feel like they've done anything wrong. They actually perceive the laws, the regulation are just there to keep the ordinary people in line. You know, they think that laws, you know, don't pertain to them. They think that it's meant for the people who have nostalgia, who value holidays, who value tradition, who value things like, um, you know, freedom, your holidays, your, you know, whatever your <clears throat> birthdays, you know, things that have significance and meaning to you. They don't register those ordinary, typical values. They are valueless. At, they, they basically do not have what you consider heart morality, um, you know, right or wrong, ethics. They don't operate by that. They think that those are to be superseded. They don't abide by those specific protocols. Um, they, they will go places and do things that most people would be like, um, no, I definitely should not do that. That is against the law. That's against procedure. That's not socially acceptable. That is too promiscuous. Um, you know, they want you to uh, do specific things in untoward places, um, high risk behaviors, high risk sexual acts, um, or, you know, uh, doing things in the workplace or in the church or in public that you are not comfortable with. And then getting you to break down these values. So this is, these are the master manipulators. So they'll get you to you know, and they'll do this and by disrupting your operating system. So when you're about to go to work in the morning, they'll, they'll give you the look, they'll give you the sounds, they'll give you the arousal. So they'll give you something that's, you know, causing you to try to, you know, multitask. Um, 
to get you to stop doing what you know is right. So, but it'll couple it with a attraction or an arousal. So in other words, and they'll give you that psychopathic gaze, which a lot of people really are like a deer in headlights. In other words, their eye contact causes you to melt down. It causes you to break down. It causes you to, you know, want more of that. And then to, you're then um, allowing yourself to be reprogrammed. It's like a, psych a psychological takeover. You're then desiring of this rewiring of yourself. In other words, because their presence is so much the answer to your prayers, you're willing to listen to them and their word salad or cryptic, enigmatic, cryptic meaning kind of mysterious way of communicating. These individuals will communicate in very mysterious ways. In other words, they will create a new meaning and a new combination of meanings that is specifically geared to give them attention or give them an authority over you. It's a, uh, it's a repatterning of, of everything from colors to routine to people to restaurants. It's very hard to describe, but they will re rewire the way. So in other words, you know, they'll say, um, you know, this is a juicy sweater. It's, you know, and then it's innocent and then it's, it's this, and then it, it mimics the color of that. So they'll repattern the way that your, your sweater is. And then the way that it, this folds, and this is very much folding like this and this and this, and they'll give it sexual overtones. And then they'll tell you to focus on other things and to look for other things during the day that are like this. And it's just a repatterning of your neurochemistry. And so it is under it is important for you to understand that that this is what a covert psychopath does. It's causing you to you know abandon your values. It's, so it's very important for you to understand and see how you are targeted, and understand that you know not, this is what what they call brainwashing. It literally is brainwashing and gaslighting. It's causing you to distort your sense of reality. And so the good news is you can get your reality back. Reality is your friend. Reality is your friend. Your values are your friend. Your senses are your friend. They are yours and they belong to you. They belong to you. And you've gotten yourself basically in, entangled with someone who is a master manipulator. And this is how they they create this sort of over hyper arousal. And so they then, un, you know, they cause you to not value your own needs, your own value, your own 2020 vision. Um, it's and, and so it's very important for you to realign with yourself and say, instead of this fear, I'm realigning with my values. Instead of this fear, I'm realigning with my values. And really repeat this over and over and over again. Instead of this fear, I'm realigning with my values. Instead of this fear, I'm realigning with my values. And really get that in your core of your being, your core and your core, get your core beliefs back. My core beliefs are I love family. My core beliefs are I love work. My core beliefs are I love integrity. My core beliefs are I, I value freedom. My core beliefs are I value safety. My core values is I 